tomorrow you'll decide the nominees for city government. Good evening, I'm Hunter Petroviak. Some of the big races we're keeping an eye on are the ones for Fort Wayne Mayor and City Council at large. Fox 55's Cody Butler is live now with more. Cody. Hunter, right now there are 30 people wanting to represent you here at Citizen Square downtown for the next four years. One of the most notable races is for an for office up on the fourth floor, the mayor's office. Political experts are saying those candidates are now pulling out all the stops to get there. Watch out. John Crawford is hitting us with higher taxes. It is one of the most expensive primaries Indiana has ever seen. Don't trust Tim Smith. He's bankrolled by political insiders. Both Republican candidates for Fort Wayne mayor are airing attack ads on the Summit City airwaves. Down Center for Indiana Politics Director Andy Down says the matchup in itself is drawing attention. We have somebody who has been on city council for a very long time with a long track record. And we have somebody who has the new pro or the profile of what a lot of people say is the new preferred candidate, that being somebody who's an outsider, a business person with good experience. Municipal elections historically have low voter turnout. Last week, the Allen County Election Board told Fox 55, however, early voting is up this year. Down says with the negative ads from both Crawford and Smith, you can expect some people to not vote tomorrow. Have a tendency to actually depress turnout among sort of the, the middle part of the electorate. Down says since the gloves came off early in the primary when the opponent is in the same party, you can expect more of the same in November. There are some who are concerned that uh, sort of a negative tinged campaign is going to be the method that people say is the way to go for every campaign from this point forward. Crawford's mayoral campaign also brought out many people looking to fill his at-large seat on city council. Between Democrats and Republicans, there are 10 people running for three open spots. Two on each side currently hold some sort of elected office. We are setting ourselves up for what could be a very, very exciting November, not only at the mayor's race level, but also at the city council at large. The polls are open tomorrow from 6 until 6, but not everyone has an election to vote in. To find out if you have one, you can head to our website, WFFT.com. Reporting live, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News.